Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. We're doing another DIY video today. We have a new part to install and it has to do with if you're going to be winter camping. Specifically, if you have a tankless water heater, this is really important. Now this is new for us because we don't often winter camp, but we are heading down to the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, AKA Tampa Show. We're gonna be leaving when it's cold. We're probably gonna be hitting some cold on the way down and definitely on the way back. We do have a Truma tankless water heater and it says it's tankless, but there's actually a one liter tank in here. So when you use this, there's actually water in here. Now going down the road, we're not gonna be winterizing every time we stop until we get home. They do sell an antifreeze kit that will allow you to use this unit up to negative four degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty awesome. That's what we're gonna to install today. So let me explain a little bit how this Truma works as far as our experience. We've had this now for five years. You Maiden. Move, you're moving a little slow, huh? Sorry. I know, I, I messed up my back doing, uh, <laughs> doing bent over rows yesterday. I'm getting old. <laughs> but it'll be better by the show. So made in Germany, guys, really awesome. Like I said, it's, it's a tankless water heater, but it does have a one liter tank in here. And normally how this works is when you turn it on, of course it's off right now, because we are winterized. You put it on eco, you put it on comfort. If you're stationary, if you put it on comfort, it's gonna keep everything warm. Now, when you're going down the road, especially if it's really cold out, this only runs on propane. And remember what we told you guys, you wanna shut that propane off when you're going down the road. Therefore, you would have to winterize this every single time if you're be going, going down the road in really cold conditions, or this could be subject to getting damaged because of the cold. Now, normally how this works, you have your filter. This comes from Truma. And again, we are winterized, so there's nothing in here. This filter will go in here. And then this closes up and it will keep the water in there. Now, what we're gonna be doing with this winterizing kit is we'll be replacing this filter with another filter with an electric element in it. It looks exactly the same. And when that goes in, it's gonna keep everything nice and hot as we're going down the road. Now, just keep in mind, you can use the Truma with the antifreeze kit in it, but you can't run, you can't use the hot water unless the propane is running. So in other words, you can't just run an electric, you have to use the propane. What does the kit look like? Guys, this is what the kit is. This is super simple to install. It's called the AquaGo Electric Antifreeze Kit, $238. Yeah, it's expensive. 238 on Amazon, also made in Germany. Buy once, cry once, guys. I'm telling you, this is one of the best units you can get on the market. So I'm going to be opening this, following the instructions, just showing you guys. It looks like it's a pretty simple process, but before I do that, what comes in the kit? Well, you have your instructions. This is actually a cover that goes into this flue here. It goes that way to keep air from going in when you're going down the road. Here is the filter and you can see it's almost identical, although, but this one has a heating element along with power to heat it. This is a holder for that uh, flue cover. And then your two wires that are gonna go in to give you 12 volt power for that heating element. So according to the instructions, first thing you can do, open up the unit, right? Super simple, guys, if you haven't done this before, to open the Truma, you're just gonna unlock it, bring it down, and that is it. You're then going to open up the latch here where your old filter would be and you're gonna take it out, which I just showed you. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna need a like Allen key here. You're going to unloosen these two little bolts right here, right where the fabric is. You're gonna loosen one, number two, and what you're going to install here is going to be the, they call it the holder. And the way they show it to be installed, it's very simple. You're gonna just put these on here, We'll have to loosen the second one up a little bit more. Put them in and then down. And then you're going to just tighten up the bolts. And then we go to step number two. Now this latch, I'm sorry, this latch is just to hold the cover here, right? So when you're not using it, you will hold this cover. It goes right in there. Now this cover is going to go right in this part. So when you're going down the road, it's blocking air from flowing in there, freezing anything in there. Obviously, when you go to use this unit, when you go to fired up with propane, you gotta take this out because this is the exhaust for the propane. So the next step, you're gonna take your new filter the heat with the heated element. You're going to put it in the inlet there with the wire side up. You wanna make sure your O-rings are good because that's gonna give you the good seal so no water comes out of here. 
and then you're going to close. Make sure and be careful you don't get your fingers caught on there. You want that up, lock it in, and then this is gonna come out to the side. So that's, that's step number two. Step number three, if you see here, there's an end. This only goes in one way, and it's gonna connect that way. But to get power, Truma, geniusly, they already have on their X2 connector over here, if you look on the side, right over here, there's two empty slots. Doesn't matter which way these wires go in as far as polarity. What you're gonna do, you're just going to put one in one slot until it locks in, it's only one way. Put the other one into the other slot, and that's it. Step number three. Step number four, you're going to take the two connections. They only go in one way, as you can see. You're gonna lock them in. I'm then going to get, you can consider step four, number five. I'm gonna get a zip tie and just zip tie this right here. You may be asking yourself, I know MJ wanted to ask. I was gonna say, people may not what know this? what this is. So, so this is a protang fire suppression. The reason why we have this here is you can see it's right by the propane lines. So if something breaks out in here, this will kind of explode and put that fire out. Next step, I just wanna bring the wires up so these connections are up high. Because when I open this up, when there's when I want to winterize the system, there's going to be water coming out of here. So I don't want any of that getting in the wires. I'm just going to zip tie this, guys, to keep everything nice and tight. Uh, they don't supply the zip ties, unfortunately. Can you imagine that for $238? They won't throw the zip ties in? <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, but that's all you got to do. Some zip ties. You could put one, you could put two. It doesn't really matter. Just to kind of keep everything tight. And then I'll show you the final step which is going to be on your controller. The Truma has controller. You have eco mode, you have off, you have comfort mode, you have clean mode, and then of course you have the antifreeze mode. So you will put it in antifreeze mode. Now, if you buy this as a factory option, this controller will probably be somewhere inside. Since this was done after market, it was just much easier to put the controller here. The, con the controllers, it doesn't really do much other than this. So you will put it in antifreeze mode to keep this activated. When you're going down the road and you're not running the system, this of course will go inside of here as, oh, that's backwards, this way, as such. And then when you close this up, that little yellow fin will kind of stick out. Remember guys, when you want to run the system for hot water, you have to take this out. If you don't take this out, you're gonna get error code. So you're gonna to have to come outside, you're gonna to have to open it up, just put it out, pull it out, put it in here, and then you can you know, turn the system on and you're gonna be good to go. Guys, super simple, that took how long? 10 minutes, yeah, yeah. if that. Super simple, you don't have to pay somebody to do this. You don't need this if you're not gonna be winter camping, if you're not gonna be driving in really cold weather, or if you wanna winterize every time, you don't need this. It's, it's just convenience, but if you do want it, we'll put the link down below. If you're gonna be in the cold a lot, it's probably a good idea to get because this is $238. If you damage your Truma, they're $1,600 now. They're really expensive. Put in the comments below, guys, do you have a Truma AquaGo? Do you have the antifreeze kit? If not, what do you do if you're in the cold? And if you like videos like this, guys, to the left of us, we'll put our RV DIYs playlist, we'll put our RV newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see you on the road.